Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is problem number 112 in the Sudoku problem series. Um, this is one that's been submitted by Alaric Taki A or Crusader175, and I've probably got the name pronunciation wrong, and I'm sorry about that. So this one was submitted a, a couple of months ago before my, um, as is most of these, um, before my life imploded. So I'm sorry there's been such a delay on this series. Um, I actually haven't had any submitted in the last couple of months, but I've, um, I'm just working through the backlog. You may see a whole bunch from the same setters because some of the some setters um, submitted, like I think a couple of dozen and because I haven't received any submissions, but I've got this huge backlog. I'll see how I go. Anyway, um, let's have a look at this one. Friendly Cells um, by, uh, we know him as Crusader175, but Alaric Taki A. Um, so the way this one works is you have to place the digits into the cells marked with an X, um, but the this is friendly cells. So the cells that are marked in green can only contain digits that are the, or must match the either the row, column, or box number. So um, this means that they are friendly. Um, so um, below you will find a link to where you can get a copy of this um, problem so you can try it for yourself. Um, I'm going to wait a few seconds so you can pause the video and give it a try. And then when you unpause the video, I'll be back to explain how this one works. Okay, so friendly cells can be a little bit tricky to wrap your head around. I've set a couple of puzzles using this. Um, so one of the first things that um, is worth looking at is this um, central cell, because this is box five. It is also row five and column five. So this cell can only possibly contain a five. So we know that that's a five right off the bat. Now, often with friendly cells, what you want to do is you just want to mark what the candidates are, because this cell is in box one, row two, column two. So it can only be one or two. This cell is in box two, um, it's also row two, column six. So this can only be two or six. This cell is in row four and box four, um, but it's also in column two. So this is two or four. This cell is in row four. Um, uh, so row four and column six, but it's in box five, but it can't take a five. So this five has eliminated the five possibility. This cell is in row four, sorry, row six and column four and box five. So this is also a four, six. We get a four, six pair. This cell is in row six, column eight, um, and box six, so it's six or eight. This is in box eight, row eight, so we get an eight, but it's also in row uh, column four. And this is in row and column eight, but it's in box nine, so this is eight or nine. So we get this disposition of cells. Now what we're looking for, and this is why this has been flagged as a hard problem, is what we're looking for here is Y-wings, which is a, um, a classic Sudoku trick, but they've been called out quite well. And what we want to do is we want to ask ourselves, what happened if this is a two? Because if this is a two, this becomes a six. So two here means this is a six because it's a two six pair. This becomes a four because the two makes this a four. And this is a six and this is a four. And that means this cell has no fill. And this is what's called a Y wing. Um, and you can, this pattern right here means that because this is a four or a six, this means that um, either, and you can look at it this backwards, it means that if this is a four, this would be a two. If this is a six, this would be a two, which means any cell that sees both of those cells cannot be a two. So this cannot be a two and this must be a one. And the same is true here. You could either ask yourself what happens if this is an eight or the more proper way of asking yourself is because if this is a four, this is an eight. If this is a six, this is an eight. So one of those two must be an eight. So that cannot be an eight and therefore must be a nine. And that is the solution to this problem. It's using Y wings as a beautiful combination of friendly to force the Y wings. I think this is a stunning setup um, and using the five to eliminate the five as a possibility from those really beautiful setup. And Y wings aren't something that I've actually, I think I've been able to see in a problem before. So it's a beautiful um, um, way of simply demonstrating that concept. But I think Y wings are a slightly harder technique um, and one of my testers agreed. So this has been bumped up to the hard category. If you found this one easy, great. That just means that you've developed a bit more Sudoku skills and you can be happy with that. Um, hopefully you're enjoying, I, I really enjoyed this problem. Hopefully you're enjoying the entire series. And as always, good luck with your solving.